this is for string location for me, but I was trying to mix up my stuff. It was getting kind of repetitive. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm still sick. Sick as fuck. And I cough like a donkey. I look like a horse with my dick. I mean, nose. Why do you call my nose my dick? Anyway, um... As you can tell, I'm an anarcho-capitalist, and I've mentioned this for quite a while. However, just like, I'm an anarcho-capitalist, but I'm a market anarchist before I'm an anarcho-capitalist. So what I'm constantly thinking is, what will replace capitalism after it's gone, ultimately? What will replace that anarchist function? And I'm thinking about it, and the easiest way to tell is with what we have now. What we have now are crappy states. And crappy states are made, are run by one crappy little entity. And we're many entities that suck. The problem with states is that they engage in behavior that's highly unnatural. So if you see a rise in liberty for states, then a rise in lifespans, a rise in um, prosperity, then that's the thing you've got to pay attention to because under a status condition for these variables to go up, that means must mean there's another variable but that's being involved. And originally it was slave states, and then it became a uh, feudalist slash memorialist, and now it's then it kind of faded into capitalism. And what a lot of people say nowadays is that socialism is going to replace capitalism, and I seriously doubt that. Why? Because it's not a variable that's shown progression. It's more of an alternative. It's an alternative desire, and it's also a desire that hasn't really put the cross into it, into the mainstream. And you can tell by the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was socialist, but it was state capitalist. That is that everything except for the structure, fantasy structure of the state was socialist. The fantasy structure of the state itself was capitalist. And I'm talking about the negative terminology for capitalism. The corporate aspect. Corporatism. There are not a lot of socialists deny this terminology. <coughs> so what I figured is that what will replace capitalism is something that will be more efficient in regards to liberties. So it will be something that will make people more aggregately prosperous, have more money in their pockets, um, or whatever will have them um, have longer lifespans, health attributes, and better innate qualities. Because the liberty is not just voluntary association, it's also these innate little qualities that are caused from prosperity and various other things, health included. Health, prosperity, monetary value. So, if stuff like socialism, which came later, couldn't break the canon, then what will? Well, I don't think that's been invented yet. I don't think the idea has come forth yet of what will replace capitalism. And... What I think will happen is that because we live in a very statist era and that's going to continue sadly for a longer course that whatever will replace that will 
probably be slightly demonized and start off in a very libertarian aspect and then states will become whatever that is so let's say it's Leonism capitalism is replaced by Leonism and then states will in, in the final eras of statism replace their state capitalism with state Leonism and there you go and there will be a better innate gap in qualities, lifespans, monetary value, and happiness. However, it's still status, but so it would still suck compared to what it could be if it was stateless, or better yet, anarchist. So how do I conclude this video? I can conclude this by saying three, th one of three or four things. One, socialism hasn't met the canon, it's more of the alternate, the B-side. And this could be told by the fact that states haven't infused themselves with this. Two, um, capitalism won't be replaced by socialism, but will be replaced with something that, just like what it did with feudalism, will raise the innate gaps and other things which liberty is also value and variable of, and the property of liberty. And yeah more to say and finally another conclusion is that okay I guess that's good enough so I'll try to make this make more sense maybe I'll make a part two abridging all of this if anyone has any questions thinks that what I'm saying makes no sense then whatever